Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am back with a new in Zara haul. I have got two boxes here full of gorgeous new in autumn winter pieces from Zara and I'm going to be filming an unboxing of first impressions um, but I haven't gone too OTT like I have in previous Zara videos. Um, I think I've just ordered around five or six key pieces and I'm going to be styling up each piece into two to three autumn winter outfits to hopefully show you some different ways that each piece can be worn. Um, as usual, everything will be linked below in the description box along with any other items I style up throughout. But if you've got any questions about anything at all, then just leave a comment and I will get back to you. If you do enjoy the video, I would love it if you could give it a thumbs up. And if you were new here and you haven't already, I would love it if you could subscribe. Before I get started, just to let you know, this video has been sponsored by Casetify, and Casetify offer a huge range of phone cases in a variety of different colors and designs to suit any style. I have currently got this gorgeous neutral case to fly case on my phone, of course, to suit my neutral style. Um, but I just love the style of this. It's in a faux leather, and I've just got my initials at the bottom in italic font, but there's loads of different fonts. You can have your name up the side. There are just so many different styles to choose from. And I also selected some other gorgeous cases from Case Defy I will show you in the cutaway. They also have new impact and ultra impact phone cases made with 65% plant-based and recycled materials that offer drop protection of up to 90 0.8 feet. So if you are upgrading to the new iPhone 13 or if you just want to update your current phone, I do have a discount code for 15% off at Casetify. I will pop it on the screen here and I will also leave it in the description box below along with links to my phone cases I showed you as well. Uh, but let's get going with the video. Okay, so I'm going to start off with this jumper on the top. First up is this gorgeous, chunky, striped roll neck jumper. And I just adore a chunky roll neck in autumn, winter. I just think they're so cozy. I love a big kind of chunky, thick neck as well. And I think they're really cozy and comfy, but they look stylish at the same time. So I spotted this stripey one, like black and camel stripes, and I thought that is just beautiful. Um, and I thought it would look lovely with black leather trousers, with denim, with maybe like leather shorts and tights and a blazer over the top. So I ordered this in a size medium. It was $59.99, um, which I think is probably like a slightly higher price point for Zara roll necks, or for roll necks in general, considering H&M are around 30-ish, I'd say. But it does feel really thick. It feels really soft. Um, it's a little bit hairy looking. I'll try and insert a close-up so you can see. It does look a little bit hairy. In fact, let me just check the fabric. Okay, so it's 48% nylon, 33% acrylic, 12% wool, and 7% alpaca. Um, so maybe that's like the little hairiness to it. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I think it's really nice, and I think it'll be lovely on and cozy, and yeah, I'll see how it looks on. Okay, this is how the chunky roll neck looks on, and I love the way it looks. The quality of it feels really lovely. I would say that it's like, if you've got sensitive skin, it has got a slight itchiness to it. I think it's because of the texture of the wool where it is a little bit hairy, but it would probably help if you maybe layered, I haven't got anything underneath it. So maybe if you had a long sleeve top underneath, I think that would definitely help. But I love the tone of the camel and the black. I think it fits me perfectly in the medium. It's like perfectly oversized, great length and it feels really cozy. And I have just styled it with a black blazer over the top, black leather look leggings, and chunky black ankle boots. And this is just like my go-to kind of autumn winter outfit. And I love how it looks styled like this. This blazer is just about big enough to fit over the top without it feeling too restrictive. I think sometimes when a blazer comes up a little bit too small, it can feel tight on the arms, but this feels fine. It doesn't feel restrictive at all. And yeah, like I said, perfect length to be worn with leather look trousers. Feels really comfortable on and just a really lovely autumn outfit. Okay, next up I have styled it with some black wash jeans, black loafers and a long black coat over the top. And I've tucked it in this time. I've just tucked it into the top of the jeans and kind of pulled it over. And I love how it looks styled like this as well, just to give a slightly different look. 
Um, these jeans are from Stradivarius. They are a great pair of jeans. They are 19.99 and just, yeah, just a really great pair of jeans. So I will leave them linked. And then on my feet, I've got some black leather loafers, but they would, this would also work with black ankle boots as it gets a little bit cooler. And then over the top, I popped on this black oversized coat from And Other Stories just to finish off the outfit and keep it really kind of simple. I know I've gone for two all black looks, but I feel like the tones of this jumper work really well styled with black. And yeah, love how it looks styled like this. And then the third way that I have styled it is with black faux leather shorts, black over the knee boots, and a long camel coat over the top. And despite it being kind of different shades of camel, I still feel like it works really well, especially tucked into the faux leather shorts. And I also think that this look would work really well with black tights underneath the shorts as well, just for a little bit more warmth. Oh, okay, the next piece that I ordered is this midi skirt and i spotted this and i just thought it was something really different but would look beautiful with like a fitted black roll neck tucked in and black over the knee boots underneath it and then maybe like a long black coat but also would be really great as workwear as well with maybe like a crisp white shirt and heels um so it's in like a lovely kind of not hounds tooth but almost like a tweed sort of fabric um very kind of autumnal as well like the tones of it are really warm it's got like brown black and blue and cream and then it's got buttons on one side and a slit up the leg as well. And actually, I think this would also be nice of an evening with maybe a body tucked in and heels too. So I ordered this in a size extra small. No, I didn't. I ordered it in a small, I think. Yeah, I ordered it in a small. And it is 71% cotton, 15% polyester, 12% acrylic, and 2%... 2% what? What's that 2%? Oh, 2% other fibres. <laughs> So um, I don't know what those other fibres are, but I really like the look of that. I will see how it looks on. Okay, so first of all, I have popped on this gorgeous skirt with a black ribbed roll neck from H&M and suede over the knee boots underneath it. And I love how it looks like this. I feel like it works really simply as maybe even an office outfit, but also you could pop a black blazer over the top or a long black coat and have it as an autumn outfit as well. The skirt fits me perfectly in the small. It fits really well on the waist. It does just kind of wrap over. So you undo the buttons and you kind of, um, there's a little button at the side, you fold over and then you do these three up and it kind of wraps round. But it's a really flattering shape. I actually quite like the fact that it's got these um, folds in the fabric as well. I feel like it's quite a flattering shape. And the fabric is lovely. I just think it's a really gorgeous skirt. Love how it looks like this. Um, but also I think it would work with a black roll neck and black heels as well if you wanted to wear it of an evening or as workwear. Um, and I'll show you another way that I would style it as well. Okay, next up I have styled the skirt in more of a cosy winter way. So I've got on this chunky cream roll neck from H&M and I have just tucked it in and kind of pulled it over. Over the top I've got on a long beigey kind of nude coat. And then I've popped on these tan croc knee-high boots because I wanted to keep it quite neutral. But I also think it would look nice with like grey or taupey coloured boots as well that would tone in with the colour of the coat. And then finally, I have styled it with a white cotton shirt. And I've actually kept on the same tan boots as before. I was going to style it with some nude heels, but I actually quite like the way it looks with the tan boots. And I also think it would work really nicely with a long camel coat over the top for an autumn outfit um, and then as workwear it would also look lovely with nude heels as well oh this is heavy oh okay next up oh, i just thought this was so gorgeous when i saw it online it is this beautiful chunky cable knit cardigan i think it was actually called like a coat or like a knitted coat online which is what drew me in because i love my mango coatigan so much i thought that this might be quite similar like a cross between a coat and a cardigan um but it's in a beautiful chunky cream cable nut and then it's also got like a weird kind of oh did it i feel like i thought it looked in the images like it had kind of like a scarf attached to it which i didn't know how i was going to get on with but actually I, I don't see the scarf. I'm going to insert the image. I I'm sure it had like a long bit that I thought was a scarf that you could either wrap around or have hanging loose, but no, it doesn't, which actually I think I prefer it without it because that was the one thing that I was like, 
not sure about that um but yeah i think there's so so many ways i could style this i mean gorgeous just at home cozy coming into winter to snuggle up in but also i think you could dress things like this up with like an all black outfit and then belt it in with a black belt and black heeled boots to really dress it up a little bit um yeah i'm excited to style this up it feels beautiful um it was 79.99 i ordered it in a size small and fabric wise it is 64 percent cotton 26 percent polyester and 10 percent acrylic okay this is how it looks on and again really like it feels so lovely on it's nice and heavy but super stretchy as well so it feels really cozy um, and can you see what i mean about the scarf bit i thought that these bits were like long and you could wrap them around but i much prefer it being not as a scarf if that makes sense um, but I love the style of the knit. I love the kind of like block cable knit pattern as well. Really gorgeous cardigan. And I have just styled it really simply with an all black outfit. So I've got a black roll neck, black faux leather leggings and heeled ankle boots just to kind of dress it up a little bit more. And I would also belt it in as well. So I don't know if you saw my recent vlog, but I got a waist belt from Amazon Fashion. I think it's about £13. And I think it would work perfectly styled with this cardigan to cinch it in. So I will insert a cutaway to show you how it looks styled with the belt. But I think it looks nice worn open or, or belted in as well. I just think it's really lovely. And then for a much more chilled, casual look, this is how the cardigan looks styled with jeans, a t-shirt and trainers. These jeans are actually the same as the washed black ones I showed you before, but in blue. And again, they're just a really great pair of jeans. I've then popped on a white scoop neck t-shirt and on my feet I've got my Vajas. I wear these so much and in fact I think my discount code for 10% off at Farfetch is still valid. I think it runs out today so if you did want to use that, this isn't an ad but you can get 10% off at Farfetch. I will leave the discount code in the description box below. But yeah, I love how it looks styled like this, really comfortable, really chilled and casual but it looks like lovely at the same time. And then the final piece in this box are a pair of cream smart slim leg trousers. And I've had a really similar pair of trousers to this from Zara before, and they're always just a really great fit, really great shape and just nice quality as well and quite affordable. I think that these were, yeah, they were 27.99, which I thought was a great price. I ordered them in a size small, and I think the tone of the cream is gorgeous. And I feel like these would look lovely with just an all cream outfit, like a cream roll neck and a long kind of cardigan or coat or trench coat over the top. But equally, they'd be great of an evening with heels and a body tucked in. They'd be great as workwear with a shirt and loafers. Um, there are just so many ways. I feel like these would be great in um, my capsule wardrobe video as well. I think I featured camel trousers and black. I feel like a very light cream pair of trousers is a great addition to a capsule wardrobe as well, which is why I wanted to keep all these pieces very kind of like timeless key pieces as well. I feel like all of these pieces are pieces that you would have in your wardrobe year after year. Um, so yeah, really like those. I will see how they look on. Next up, this is how the cream trousers look on. And first of all, I've popped them on with a chunky cream roll neck and nude heels just for something a little bit different. And I love how they look styled like this, all very kind of cream and neutral. Um, the trousers are gorgeous. I knew that they'd be nice because like I said, I've had similar styles from Zara before, but they fit me perfectly in the small and they're a really lovely fit, a really lovely cup. They finish at the perfect place on me and I'm five foot six. And I love the seam running down the front as well. And then they're a nice kind of flattering fit on the bottom and they've got a pocket either side. The, the pockets are stitched up at the moment, but they come like that, and obviously you just unpick them once you decide if you're keeping them. Um, but yeah, I think they're a really lovely pair of trousers, and they do come in a few different colour options as well. I think they come in black and camel as well. And then I've just styled them up with a black leather jacket, a black body, and my trainers again, just to make them a lot more casual. And I think they work really well styled like this, for a much more kind of chilled day look. Obviously they're perfect as workwear, but I wanted to show how you could dress them a little bit more casual as well. Now I think they might work slightly better with a t-shirt rather than the body tucked in, just so you could kind of pucker it out slightly and have a little bit more material here. Um, but I thought I'd show it to you like this anyway. And yeah, I think they look really cute styled like this, feel really lovely. 
and just an easy kind of like autumn outfit and then as it gets a little bit cooler you could wear a chunkier jumper or a cashmere jumper underneath for a little bit more warmth and then moving on to box number two and what is in here i've actually put one box in here Oh, of course, of course it's a blazer. As if I could do a Zara haul without ordering a blazer. <laughs> um, and actually, I think, yes, the final piece that I ordered from Zara, oh, it is beautiful. <gasps> oh, that is absolutely gorgeous. The final piece I ordered from Zara is this gorgeous kind of tweed blazer and i i don't need another blazer of course i don't need another blazer but zara blazers i don't know if you saw my zara come shopping with you video recently but there were so so many gorgeous blazers in there i feel like they their blazer game is just on point and i spotted this and just thought it was absolutely gorgeous um so it is in like a lovely kind of cream and brown actually quite similar to the skirt actually the fabric it's not exactly the same but a very sim very similar tones this is slightly darker uh but i just thought this was a really beautiful piece for autumn winter and it's very thick as well so it'd be nice to wear you could kind of wear it as a blazer or as a coat because it is quite a thick wool fabric in fact let me check the fabric of this as well 94 percent polyester four percent viscose and two percent elastane i did think it might be a wool blend because my blazer from and other stories is wool or a wool blend and it feels similar to that but maybe not quite as maybe not quite as good quality but love the style of it love the fabric love how warm it feels and it was 59.99 and i ordered it in a size small and let's see how it looks on. I'm sure I will not struggle to find plenty of ways to style that up. Okay, so first of all, I've just popped the blazer on with jeans, a t-shirt and trainers just to keep it really casual. And I do really like the way it looks, but I would just say that it does feel really long on me. And I'm five foot six for comparison. I'm five foot six and about a standard UK size eight. And it feels like it's quite long. I could do with it being at least a couple of inches shorter. So just bear that in mind, if you are petite, it might feel like, I kind of think that it sort of feels like a cross between a coat and a blazer. So you might love the fact that it's long, but just bear that, bear that in mind if you are petite, you might feel like it is a little bit too long for a blazer. Um, but I love the tone of it, I love the feel of it, really nice shape. I am wearing it in a size small and I'd say, it's pretty true to size. It is supposed to be slightly oversized, so the shoulders feel quite kind of boxy and almost like a kind of boyfriend dad blazer style. Okay, I've just popped up with an all black outfit neck. So I've got on a black body, black jeans, black belt, and black loafers. And I kind of like how it looks styled like this, but again, I just feel like something's a little bit off with the blazer. I think it is just slightly too oversized on me and slightly too long as well. So I don't know whether or not sizing down to the extra small would help or whether or not it would still feel a little bit too long. I do love the blazer, I love the fabric, I love the brown buttons and I do think it looks nice with a, with a black outfit but I just think something isn't quite right about it unfortunately. So um, I think I might have to send this one back. So I just wanted to quickly try it on with the chunky cream roll neck underneath just to see if it like bulked it out a little bit. And I think it does. I think it fills it fills it out. It feels a bit more like not too oversized on me anymore. And I like how it looks with the cream underneath and with the jeans as well. And I also think actually it would be great with leather look leggings as well because it is that little bit longer. So it would just come down slightly longer at the back to be able to wear with leggings. Um, and also if you are taller, I feel like it would probably sit at the perfect place on you. Uh, but yeah, I think it works a little bit better with something chunkier underneath. Okay, so that is everything for this video. I really hope that you enjoyed it. And if you did, please do remember to give it a thumbs up. And if you're new here and you haven't already, I would love it if you could subscribe. Um, do let me know your favourite piece or your favourite outfit. If you can pick one, do leave a comment and let me know which look you liked the most. And if you enjoyed this kind of slightly different style of filming a Zara haul as well, I'd love to know your feedback. Uh, but yeah, thank you so much for watching. As I mentioned before, everything will be linked below in the description box and hopefully I will see you again in my next video. Bye!